Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Alex, the architect for Backfrap, and in today's video we're going to update a record using React Native and Parse. So here we have our to-do list app and I'm going to add a new to-do item in here, so my test item and click add and my record will be shown on the list. And when I click this green checkbox here, it will try to edit this item. So it will set the done property to true and a little mark will show over the text my test item. So here I created the updated to do method that will be fired when I click that button and it will need two variables in order to find the to do that I'm looking for. First one is the to do ID, which will be a string, is the object ID for that one object and done, which is a boolean because I'll be filtering for records which have boolean equals false. So inside here, I'm going to do some coding. So first I will instantiate my to do class as let to do equals new parse object and passing the class name as a string to do and then to do dot set and the object ID to to do ID, which is the string that I bought from up here. Well, with all that done, I can try to set our to do item, uh, the property done to the status that I'm passing up here, in this case done as well. With all that, I can try uh, and catch, build a try catch block where I'm going to try to save that record. And if something goes wrong, I can catch the error. So in the try part, I'm going to do an await because this is an asynchronous call to do dot save. And if it succeeds, it will go to the next step, which is will show alert uh, success to do updated. And then it will call the read to do's method, which will reload all the to do items in my list and return true. If something goes wrong, it will enter the catch block where I'm going to put an alert error and then the error dot message which describes what happened to give that error and return false. Once uh, I save this and compile, you will end up with the same uh, UI where I can click here and I had a success because my test item is now uh, marked as done equals true. So this is how you update an object based on its object ID in parse. I hope you liked this video and hope to see you on the next ones. See you soon. Bye bye.